Hey guys and gals, I'm Jay Campbell. I'm Hunter Williams. What's going on? So again, we are back making a bunch of videos on a bunch of important topics for our new YouTube optimization for 2024. And today's topic is one that both of us do not think is really being covered anywhere because again, it's really from a coming from a place of true mastership when it comes to understanding peptides. And that is why you should never, ever start therapeutic peptides without first finding out whether or not you have a hormonal deficiency. And we would even go as far as to say that you should be hormonally optimized. Now, why is that? So everyone wants to talk about peptides. Peptides are all the rage these days. And for good reason, they get good results. Here's the kicker. You will maybe, we've thought about this, maybe get like 10 to 15% of the maximum results from peptides if you do not have the requisite levels of hormones particularly testosterone, estradiol, and you know, a host of other hormones in your body. If you do not have those, peptides are really not going to work as intended for you. Peptides kind of mirror, and I learned this from Jay, they kind of mirror the health of the end user and are only going to work to the condition that the body is in. So most people, they hear Jay and I talk about peptides, they take our course, they do whatever, and they're like, okay, I'm going to go all in. I've seen this like in like very successful people, very smart people do this. They're like, I'm going to go all in, and they'll you know schedule a consulting call with us or whatever, and they're like, okay, I've got my terzapatide, I've got my testimorelin, I've got my BPC, I've got all these things. I'm ready to go. What do I do next? And I say, okay, have you done your blood work? No. Do you know your testosterone levels? No. Do you know your metabolic markers, your A1C, all these different things? And they're like, no, I, I don't. And it's like, okay, well, if you have a deficiency in testosterone, how do you think a growth hormone peptide or a fat loss peptide is going to help you? Yeah, maybe it'll work a little bit, but nothing will come close to having the requisite levels of hormones in your body. So peptides are more like the icing on the cake, whereas the hormones are the engine in the car. And if you don't have the engine in the car, what good does it do to have a good paint job on the car? I would argue it doesn't. Yeah, I mean, well said. I mean, look, you guys, I, Hunter and I, this is like the biggest question that we get. Or it's not even a question. It's just more of like a, a fact-finding investigation when we find out from people that they're not getting the results that they would like to. They're like, well, you know, you guys get all these amazing results. And like, why is it not working for me? And, you know, is, is it fake? Is, you know, is, is limitless is peptides a scam? Or, you know, and we get all this nonsense. And then, you know, the first couple of questions we talk to people, whether it's coaching or for me, it's mostly private membership group for both of us now. We're not really doing as much one-on-one -on -one coaching. We do have a VIP mastermind program that costs a lot of money. If you're interested in that, you know, reach out to us. But, but the truth is, is that most people, do this backwards. And that is exactly what Hunter said. They have absolutely no understanding of whether or not they're suffering from a hormonal deficiency. And as you and I have pointed out for what, me close to a decade now, you four or five years, most people in the United States, and let's just call it first world, you know, coastal and urban population centers are suffering from a hormonal deficiency. You're being attacked through the air, through the food, through the water, through the plastics, through the endocrine disrupting chemicals, through the EMF, the dirty electromagnetic frequencies, to the Wi-Fi, to the white incandescent dirty EMFs. It is insane. Your system is being attacked 24 seven. When you go to sleep at night, the Wi-Fi signal is crushing your testicles. If you're a woman, it's crushing your endocrine system. It's crushing everything about our biological systems. So if you are not taking ownership, as you know, of your personal health care and finding out whether or not you're suffering from a hormonal deficiency, peptides aren't going to do jack shit for you. Now, I know that's going to hurt some of your guys' feelings, but hopefully a lot of you are going to wake up to this and realize, oh, that's why Ipamorellin doesn't work as well for me as it works for you, Jay, or it works for as well for your wife, Monica, or it works as well for you, Hunter, or all the other people that you know we interview, all the other awesome subject matter experts and influencers that we interact with. The bottom line is, if you're not addressing whether or not you have a hormonal deficiency, none of these things are going to work as optimally as they can. And again, all of these things, as we say, and we say this in our books, and you can read our books for free, you can go to my website, which is join.jcampbell.com and subscribe to my email list. You can subscribe to his email list. You can, again, join our private membership group, which is fullyoptimizedhealth.com, which is where we do all, the, all of our work. And by the way, it's the only way that you can actually speak to him and I because of all the you know, overload of messages that we get. But the truth is, is that having balanced and quote unquote optimized hormones allows the symphony, okay, because that's what you want to have is a symphony going on in your biological systems. The orchestra is the, you know, the main tuning point or the inflex point of your hormonal symptomology. And so when you are optimized and balanced between estrogen, testosterone, progesterone, and of course, you know, different other hormonal signals, uh, injecting or uh, ingesting, and, and most of the time you're going to be injecting 
therapeutic peptides, it's only going to enhance all of the hormonal systems that you already have optimized and balanced, right? Versus a person who is a, you know, quote unquote, dumpster fire, doesn't have any hormonal balance, has their estrogen and their testosterone in the toilet. And then they start injecting these growth hormone agonist peptides or cognitive enhancing peptides or any form of peptides, even the life extension peptides, you're not going to get the same effect as somebody who is, again, operating at a much higher, again, call it tuning frequency when their hormones are optimized. Yeah, as we know it right now, there are no peptides that actually work on what we would call the anabolic pathway, which is not I'm not talking about steroids. I'm just talking about the reproductive hormones of testosterone and estrogen. Right. There are no peptides that we know that actually optimize that pathway. There are lots of other pathways that peptides optimize. Maybe one day there will be. But as, as long as you're ignoring that pathway, all the other pathways are not going to work in the symphony like Jay was talking about that we need them to. So it'd be like if you had a band and you had a really good uh, you know, trombone section, but you didn't have a good clarinet section. It'd be the same thing. The song is going to be off. So if you're not optimizing like each of those areas equally, you're not going to get results. And I'll give you an example that like is really big out there right now. People will take terzapatide, which is otherwise known as Manjaro, or let's just take any GLP-1 agonist uh, compound. They'll lose weight and they're like, oh, this is great, but then they lose all their muscle. Well, no doubt they lose all their muscle because they don't have the requisite levels of testosterone, man or woman, in their body to even maintain or preserve muscle. Now, a lot of times these people aren't dieting right. They're not training right. Uh, yeah, so they're just, they're just lost from the beginning. Right. But if you maintain a healthy level of testosterone in the body, while you're doing that, you're going to preserve your muscle. So everyone says, oh, GLP-1s cause muscle loss. What's well, like, no, that person had muscle loss because they had no testosterone in their body to help them preserve muscle through the period of fat loss. Then no one talks about thyroid. Thyroid's another hormone that you would have in a hormonal optimization protocol. And you know, if you're losing a bunch of weight, the, the GLP-1 is not causing thyroid downregulation. It's the fact that your body is going through hey, well. this, yeah, this metabolic energetic shift of getting fat off of the body. So it just goes back to the point, before you start peptides, Look, most peptides, it's going to cost you a couple hundred bucks to get like a stack or a protocol started. I would say for that person, if you've never done it before, take that couple hundred bucks, go get your blood work done. Yeah. If you live in the United States, you can literally go on your, go to private MD, labs.com slash JC and get a discount, you know, 15% off with the code to get your blood work done. You go and you find out the snapshot of your body. And I found through all the people that we've worked with, if someone can get their blood work done, it makes it real for them. So they realize now I have a testosterone deficiency, I need to address that. I need to go work with a good doctor that specializes in hormone. And by the way, this is not just for men. Ladies, yeah. this is the same thing for you. There's no differentiation. Every person on this planet can function better with optimized hormones, whether you're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, or even 80. If you consider, if you're considering using therapeutic peptides, absolutely without question, you are going to get a better response uh, with peptides, if you're hormonally optimized and balanced than you would without. Now, that's not to say that you know some some people out there who are suffering from injuries and are not hormonally optimized, but they're not also metabolically inflamed, deranged, and uh, you know obese can use like the healing peptides like BPC one fifty seven or TB five hundred and get you know somewhat of a healing effect. But again, all things being equal, you should start with hormonal optimization and balance first and then consider peptides secondarily. And again, most, as you know, most people do this completely inverted and they don't get the same results and they think the peptides don't work. And then they also run along on the internet and tell people, oh, that peptide doesn't work. Jay Campbell's a liar. Hunter Williams is a liar. Ben Greenfield's a liar. I mean, what, what, whatever you know, we see and hear, it's because always the people that don't get the same effects aren't actually doing it in the correct way. Yeah, and to the point about BPC-157, yeah, if you have like a torn labrum in your shoulder, BPC-157 sure is going to help. But you know what will help it even more? Testosterone. testosterone. So if you have testosterone plus BPC-157, specifically if you're an aging man or woman that's over the age of 30 or 40 in today's world, it's going to make it that much better. So yeah, you can get peptides. But imagine, like say you have taken a peptide before. You're like, wow, I got pretty good results with that. Imagine if you had this synergistic combo of that with hormonal optimization. It will blow your results out of the water. And I've seen it time and time again. The people we work with, they get on you know hormone optimization therapy. And then all of a sudden their peptide efficacy and results they get go through the roof because now they've got the symphony all in harmony. So. Yeah, beautifully said. So look, guys and gals, if this information is valuable to you, please join my email list. It's join.jcampbell.com and you will be with twenty-five, nearly 25,000 other men and women 
who are literally optimizing their life by receiving emails every single day. So for Jay Campbell, Hunter Williams, we'll see you guys very soon. Peace.